Hello and welcome or welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing round three of my book and wine pairings. Let me preface this by saying I picked the sweet tooth box this time. So again, I did not choose the wines in the box. And so that was interesting, I guess, but it was better than having mostly drier wines that I just completely hated. I do have one more box. I got one more. I chose the wines to go into this box for once. Did I actually pay attention to what I was getting? No, not really. So it's kind of going to be a mixed bag, but that will be my final round after I do that one because I have canceled my Naked Wine subscription. Honestly, I kept forgetting about it and I forgot that I was doing like a monthly deposit into my account. And when I remembered, I was like, okay, let me spend this money and then just be done with it. So that fourth one will probably be the last time that I do this, although I did get a wine advent calendar and I was planning to do Vlogmas on TikTok this year. So I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't, we'll see what happens. But for today, I have another round of six wines that I'm going to compare to books that I have read. All of these are fairly recent. Now, all of these are books that I read this year actually, so let's get started the first one that i tried was from the sweet selections of millier which is a brand that i've had a few times and the first one was a muscat Canelli. it was a sweet white wine and for this one because i got the sweet tooth box i think i was expecting it to be sweeter than it actually was so i didn't dislike it but i was a little disappointed because my expectations weren't quite met and so the book that I'm pairing that with is The Battle Drum by Sarah El Arifi. I really enjoyed this book. It is the second book in the Ending Fire trilogy, the first one being The Final Strife. I did really enjoy it. However, my disappointment specifically came with Anor because she was super fucking annoying in the first book. And then she had like the best character arc in that first book. And then in this one, she goes right back to her old ways and kind of throws all of that growth out the window. And that's where my disappointment came in. So still a good book still a good wine just a little disappointed in the execution the next wine is also from the same collection but this one is a rosé typically i like rosés it doesn't really matter if it's sweet or dry i typically like it either way however with this one it was just kind of mid and didn't really meet my expectations and the book that i am pairing with that one is arca by gr McAllister. this is the follow-up to scorpica and I rated Skorka five stars and then I ended up rating this one three stars. It just did not live up to the hype of the first book. It didn't have that same excitement. Honestly, I found a lot of this book very boring, unfortunately. And so I was just a little disappointed because I had such high hopes and then I was let down. This next one was Akiyoshi Sugar Cube Blanc, which I had never had before and I didn't hate it. It was actually pretty good. So my first impression when I took the first sip was, that's actually not bad. Also with this one being the third one in the box that I tried after not liking the first two, I think my expectations were a little lower with this one too. The book that I'm pairing with that is The Enforcer by Katrina Jackson. This is the second full novel in the family series. And I think I also had low expectations for that one because I DNF'd the first full novel. I read the first novella, DNF'd that first book, The Hitman, because I did not like the characters, did not like the situation. And so I think that those were very similar in terms of the wine and the book. But I ended up liking that book a lot. Not only did I enjoy what was happening, but I I also enjoyed the characters and the relationship that was being built and I wasn't really expecting to. Next wine is another one from Akiyoshi and this one was a Moscato. Moscato is typically safe. It's usually pretty good overall. This one I just felt a little indifferent towards. Like it wasn't great but it also wasn't bad. The book that I'm going to put that with is First Comes Like by Alicia Rye. This is the final book in the Modern Love series. This one could have been good there were just certain situations with the female main character that I did not like and I really enjoyed the male main character and I enjoyed the story overall because it was interesting and it was placed in a modern setting that could be very relatable to now. However, the female main character just kind of ruined that and so by the time I finished the book I was just like it was okay but it wasn't anything great. I'm gonna tell you right now that I do not know how to pronounce this word. I'm not going to try. This one is another sweet white wine and it was okay. It 
was like it was just missing something like it could have been good but it wasn't and so the book that i'm gonna pair with that is assistant to the villain i really love these tiktok skits and so i was excited to read the book i was skeptical about how the book was going to translate for me and unfortunately it did not work i did end up dnfing that book and i sold it on pingo so shout out to whoever bought that from me it had potential but it just wasn't quite there and i'm not quite sure what the disconnect was for both the wine and the book so i was just a little disappointed with that one and then the last wine that i had was another muscat camelli like the first one and when i took the first sip my immediate reaction was no the flavor profile for this one just was off and it was i don't know if acidic is the right word but like it didn't have a good balance of sweetness i felt and i was just like immediately turned off to it and the book that i'm pairing with that is a darker shade of magic by v.e schwab now you will notice that i have the very pretty barnes and noble special editions and they have some beautiful beautiful artwork in them they come with their own ribbon bookmarks and i love that but i dnf this book pretty early on i think maybe i got seven percent in and this is a book that i've had on my shelves for a very long time i also have the other two books in the series and it's just a no i'm keeping these solely as decoration because they are so pretty also because my boyfriend bought me the other two books and they're not cheap so unfortunately though it just wasn't working for me i wanted to be interested in the different londons i wanted to be interested in our main character but then i met lila is that her name and I was just like, I do not care. So this is, this is an immediate no. So that is my third round of wine and book pairings. Let me know what you thought of it. If you're excited for this series to be over, if you don't care for it, or if you like it and you want me to keep going, I could do this with wines that I already know that I like, but I feel like it's kind of easier and more fun to pair most of the books with things that I don't like for some reason. I don't know just seems easier or if you have wine suggestions for me in general i'm always willing to try new things so let me know what you thought otherwise that's all i have for you today and i'll see you in the next video